Good morning, Facebook friends. So have you got a pen and paper handy? I think you might want to write these down. The four pillars of the Shin Dao, so the very foundational principles that generate living the way of the heart, are these four pillars. One, develop your body. Without a healthy body, what have we got? This body temple is what carries our soul and allows us to live this wonderful human experience. We absolutely need to take care of it. Good morning, Brenda. So develop your body is the first foundational pillar. And it's funny how being aware of these four pillars can affect one's life. I got up this morning and the idea, the four pillars popped into my head and I realized Wow, I've been a little lax in the exercise department. I kind of fell off of my little morning commitment of doing my basic core ex strength uh, exercises. And so I rolled out of bed, did a little warm up and got down and did my push up sit ups, squats, and feel more energized as a result of doing that. Develop your body as an important foundation. Of course, it includes all those basic things that people know but don't often do, like drink lots of water, eat healthy foods. The thing is, the Shin Dao is about doing those things with an attitude, good morning Nadine, about doing those things with an attitude, I do this because I love my body and care for it and want it to give me an amazing quality of life. Not, I do these things because I should, I know I'm supposed to, I know I have to. Do you get the difference? It's all about the perspective and how you do that. These pillars may not be brand new to you, although maybe they are. Um, either way, the perspective and how we bring them into our lives may be new to you. So develop your body because you want to, because you want the most out of life. So second pillar, inspire your mind. Inspire your mind by reading wonderful books, watching uplifting movies, being around people who have conversations that are uplifting. Do good in the world, uh, random acts of kindness, will inspire you to think about how that's making a difference in the world. Inspiring our minds keeps us in that, not just positive thinking place, but in a place of truly making a difference. The third pillar is open your heart. <sighs> yeah, there's a big one. When we live with an open heart, we live with love first. We live with kindness and compassion. And opening your heart can literally mean opening your arms. Start your day by opening your arms. Those who've tuned in on my morning exercise, my morning meditation, we breathe in. Breathe in, open, open, open. This sense of opening this chest actually does open your heart. And when you open your heart, you're in a place of being willing to be a little more vulnerable. And vulnerability is where people get to know who you really are. And it lets people in in a bigger way. There is more love. There are deeper relationships when you open your heart. <sighs> Fourth pillar, elevate your spirit. Mm, an elevated spirit is the ultimate place of joy and bliss. An elevated spirit is when you can feel peace inside despite the chaos around you. When you're willing to dance through life. Ha! Hence the name of the retreat that I hosted this past Saturday. And you know, I didn't consciously pull together all of the four pillars. We didn't even talk about the four pillars. I simply gave all the ladies this little four pillars reminder card. If you want one, tell me in this note below and I'll make sure you get one of these four pillar cards. The back also has the 12 tenants that Shindawas live by. You'll also find those four pillars and 12 tenants on our website, shindow.com. Um, and I think I have this inspiration in this moment that we'll 
pin that to the top of our Facebook page, Shindao Institute, so that the pillars are always there for you as a reference point. Anyway, um, we had an active experience of engaging in activities that awakened all four pillars or brought us to an awareness of all those four pillars. So we did that through experiential activity, not through talking about it. Good morning, Shelley. And um, this, is, this is my message to you. It starts with talking about it. It starts with awareness. Know what those, those four pillars are. Talk about bringing them into your life. But nothing's really going to change until you take some action. So actually start engaging in activity and ways of being that bring those four pillars to life. So again, what were the four pillars? Uh, develop your body. Inspire your mind. Open your heart. And elevate your spirit. Have fun playing with those four pillars today. And of course, if you uh, in, uh, subscribe to Receive Heart and Mind Matters, which is our Tuesday morning e-zine that goes out, we have articles that will speak to those four pillars on a weekly basis. There's always a YouTube video, a quote of the week. It's intended as an uplift to start your day. So by all means, it's, it's a complimentary gift to you. Just go to shindow.com, uh, type in your name and email address, and you'll start receiving that on Tuesdays. And the, the archives of those, if you ever want to see what that looks like, are on our blog, no, are on our resources page on shindow.com. May you have a wonderful day playing with at least one of those four pillars and would love to hear how that goes for you. Like I said, don't take my word for it. Test them out. See what the difference is for you. Love you. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.